Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. You know, I watched a disturbing videotape and I couldn't wait to do a commentary about it. And that is the young lady that was basically um, jumped on, handcuffed, and kidnapped at the Potter's house um, over there in um, Fort Worth, Texas, over there with T.D. Jakes. Now, the thing was so disturbing on so many levels. And as I was reading some of the commentary from some of the people, of course, from the Potter's Church and people who have witnessed the video, a lot of them were saying, and even to the young lady, in, in fact, in question, they were saying how a lot of the elder ladies are jealous of them, or one in particular, and that's the one that was um, yelling at her or telling her that was totally in her ego that her husband was watching a young, young girl. So she might really have some personal feelings about her and why she don't want her up there prancing in front of the congregation. However, um, the way they went about this is all wrong. And for the security guard, Brandon, your ass is um, have put them in serious jeopardy because if I was a young lady and I would definitely recommend for her to sue y'all because that's kidnapping. You may not hold somebody against their will when they want to leave your church. First of all, the woman had not committed any crimes. And because y'all didn't want her up on the stage, from what I'm seeing, it is the most pathetic, gross, um, absolute um, miscarriage of power, as it always is when you go into these houses of ill repute churches. Um, it's a cesspool where people think that their ego and that they have one up on you because they're one step closer to God or one step closer to the pastor and they feel like they can do whatever the hell they want to do to you, which is freaking pathetic. You know, God rest the dead, but I remember um, uh, when I was going to church and I remember that there was a lady that was so much older than me. Well, uh, she knew my, of course she was familiar with my family. You know, it's almost like she was family. Because, you know, these church people, you know them so much, and you, you know. But she was absolutely jealous of me and my singing ability. Because I was singing since I was a child. And it was something that I knew that the gift had was passed on to me. And I never felt that I um, was something special at that point because of it. However, it was because of the way she treated me, let me know that I must be something special here. Because she, I was totally, totally mistreated, totally, totally, um, uh, just reprimanded all the time for no reason, and put on silence <laughs> for things that should not have even been, all because of jealousy and hatefulness that was there in the church. And so when I was looking at this young lady who has a ministry, who is a, from what I'm hearing, is a volunteer at the church. How do you fix it in your mind to keep somebody kidnapped in your damn church because of no reason? Because of somebody he said, she said, they want to talk to you and we want you to come back here in this room and we're going to talk. This woman hasn't committed any crimes. You know, you black, some of y'all niggas is so crazy that I can't believe that you would do that, first of all, in the name of T.D. Jakes, and so now you're going to get his church sued because he wasn't, if he did condone that kind of crazy behavior, then he should be a part of the lawsuit, but he wasn't even there, and I would, I'd be hard-pressed to think that as intelligent of a man that T.D. Jakes is, that he would allow Y'all to hold this woman kidnapped against her damn will because the the fat woman want to prove a damn point about her husband and who said what. The the one, young woman was calling her man. Don't man me. Don't man me. What the fuck? What do you want me to say then, bitch? 
I mean, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. This is what was going on. And they held this young woman in church, in the office, while they fucking abused her. <laughs> in the potter's house in Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas. I am so appalled because that uh, clip just opened up some PTSD for me. Um, the mistreatment that most people um, experience in the church. Spiritual abuse. Nobody want to talk about the fucking spiritual abuse that goes on in there. Um, let alone the sexual abuse. But the spiritual abuse is very, very strong. It's a very powerful phenomenon. And the fact that this woman was being manipulated. Now here she is. She gives the welcome and address. She feels like she have a place in the church. She's a volunteer. Now some hateful ass woman. Mad because how her shape is. Or maybe her man was looking at her too tough. Or whatever it is. They decided they don't want your ass up in the front no more. Get no attention. So with that being said. They thought that they had the right to kidnap you. Handcuff you. Throw you down a big ass man. Throwing you down and putting you in handcuffs? And you committed no crime? T.D. Jakes, you need to, you need to, some y'all need to go back over and have um, in service a training, again, for the nigga staff that you got working for you that think that they can throw people on the ground and do all kinds of crazy stuff that is totally against the law. Because what's going to happen is the Potter House probably going to be sued. Because if it was me and they asses had done me like that or my daughter or anybody kidding me or any. Listen, you have a lawsuit on your damn hands. It was pathetic. I'm done. Like what you hear, please like, subscribe and share. And I just wanted to bring that to you this afternoon. If you haven't seen it, please look at the um, woman handcuffed in Fort Worth in T.D. Jake's church. It is absolutely pathetic. <laughs> All right. Bye, you guys.